How's it going guys? This is Brandon again with Emacs and today we're going to be taking a look at the Baby Hawk. So specifically what we're going to be showing you today is how to take these prop guards off correctly. So if you go ahead and open up your Baby Hawk kit, you'll notice that we included extra screws. So inside this bag, you'll find smaller screws, which is what you're going to want to use to mount your motors after you take the prop guards off. So we'll go ahead and open this baggie here and you'll be looking for these little guys right here. All right guys, now we have all the screws separated. So if you go ahead and flip over your baby hawk, you'll see right here, these are the screws we're gonna be changing out. These are the motor screws. The tool size that you wanna use for these is a 1.3 millimeter hex driver. So of course, like always turn it to the left and you'll be able to loosen those guys out. All right guys, so I went ahead and already removed one prop guard and screwed down these motors right here. So this is what you want it to look like, all nice and clean and look how much smaller it's starting to look. So I'm gonna go ahead and take off the other side and get the shorter screws on there. All right guys, so I'll go ahead and give you a last look. I'm right here on my last motor. So I'm gonna give you some tips as the easiest way to get these motors back on this frame. So you wanna go ahead and put one screw in through any hole, line it up with the respective hole on the motor mount do a nice fit on it. You don't have to torque it all the way down for the first one, you wanna leave it slightly loose so you can line up the rest of the holes. Go ahead and get one more screw. Make sure that all the holes of the motor mount line up with the holes down here and you should have no problems. I see my line, go ahead and screw it in. And you'll see that now that you have two screws in there across from each other, like so, these two will automatically line up just because the way we have the spacing. So you could just place your other screw in there, torque it down. For these screws, since it is a plastic body in between the metal screw and the metal motor, just turn it till it's tight. You don't have to torque it too down and apply too much pressure just till it's nice and snug. All right, guys, I'm all done. I'm ready to go race. I've lost about 10 grams, so I'm gonna embarrass all the rest of the guys in the office. We're about to race up this whole warehouse. Make sure that you keep an eye on our YouTube. Like, subscribe, comment if you have any questions. We will have some more tutorial video guys, videos for you guys. If you wanna see a certain kind of video, maybe leave a comment. We'll go ahead and read all those, respond back to as many as we can. Check out our Facebook, Emacs USA, and our Instagram, Emacs underscore USA. Our international customers can find us on emacsmodel.com or emacs-usa.com. Thanks guys, I'm gonna go race.